Okay, I am pan grilling a uh, ribeye steak. Pan's at 450 degrees. I was using my laser to get it to that temperature. I've already uh, grilled one side of it to uh, get a nice sear on one side. We are now on the second side with uh, about two minutes to go. I have uh, some garlic in there. I've got some rosemary in there along with some butter. It's cooking on uh, uh, extra virgin olive oil. I added that just before adding the steak. And uh, I want you to see this as I see it when I pull the lid off. I need to use an instant read thermometer. I want to get it right to the medium rare temperature. So I'm going to pull the lid off with about a minute to go to give me a little buffer. But this is a New Year's Day cook. My wife and I will split this steak. Uh, it's big enough for two. It's not on the grill, but I can certainly... This is the pan I use on the grill. So, if it weren't raining, I would probably be uh, using it out there. Anyway, let me pull this off. Oh, boy. There we go. exactly where I want to be. So the only thing I'm going to do now is move the butter around. So here it is resting now and uh, boy the, the rosemary and um, the garlic is an excellent addition to this. I season it for about an hour with uh, Culture salt. This is what I use for almost all my cooks, along with uh, ground black pepper, and then uh, of course then uh, fancy uh, paprika. Actually, it's not fancy that I use. It's the smoke. So that's what I was using. And for the garlic, uh, I was just using chunky fresh garlic that way. It's not fresh per se, but it's it's a very limited shelf item. So anyway, happy New Year's.